If you have ever watched a Formula 1 race closely, you have probably noticed that curious little moment on the straights. The rear wing suddenly opens, it happens quickly and rapidly, but it's one of the most powerful weapons in modern F1. That's DRS, the drag reduction system, and when it activates, it can make the difference between staring at someone's back and pulling a highlight overtake. In the current 2025 cars, DRS is simple in concept, but monumentally effective. When the driver behind is within one second of the car ahead, they are allowed to open a flap in the rear wing. Why the rear wing? Because it's one of the biggest generators of aerodynamic drag on the current car. When it's close, the tall sculpted surface creates a large high pressure area in front and low pressure behind. Exactly what you need for downforce, but also a recipe for unwanted drag. Open it and two things happen instantly. Drag drops, the airflow doesn't hit a wall anymore, it slides through the gap. And the downforce falls, you lose grip, which is why this trick is only allowed on the straights. You can see it in the area data of car, with DRS on. On the pressure visual you can observe how small pressure buildup is now. On our 2D velocity visuals, the wake behind the car becomes smaller, the pressure contrast is reduced and the turbulence is dramatically less intense. The result? Higher straight line speed and a better chance to close up for a pass. But there is a limit. DRS in current form only affects the rear wing. The front wing still produces drag. So, while DRS is useful, it's not a silver bullet. In 2026, the sport is rewriting the rulebook. Out goes the one wing DRS. In comes a two mode system that works on both the front and the rear wing. The FIA calls them Z mode, the high downforce, high grip setup for cornering, and X mode, low drag overtaking configuration with both front and rear wing flaps. And here is the kicker you don't need to be within a second of the car ahead to use X mode. On any straight long enough around 3 seconds or more of full throttle, drivers can switch into this slick smooth air setup. The front wing isn't just another air surface, it's the major conductor of the entire airflow of the car. In Z mode, it's angled to maximum downforce. However, in X mode, that changes. Take a look at these visuals. The negative lift effect of this airfoil is reduced. With the wing opened, more airflow stored the side with cooling inlets. The high energy flow stays attached to the nose and side puts longer, reducing friction losses. The rear wing behaves in a similar way to the current DRS. Even less pressure buildup on the wing face. Smaller flow separation zones behind it. Reduced turbulence making it easier for following cars to stay close. From this visual's observation, we can say that the new active error is more efficient than the current one. Worth adding that the 2026 generation rear wing is less angled, so DRS in current form would be less effective due to less drag impact for rear wing. That is one of the reasons why the FIA introduced X and Z modes. But what about numbers? What they say to us? Starting with drag. Drag reduction is around 50% in X mode compared to Z mode, and we're losing about 20% of downforce. And if you would like to test your own vehicle to see what areas of the car work well and what details might need an upgrade, then head to osrlab.com, there you can write to us and describe your project for our analysis. Link is in the description. Huge thanks to Quiz for providing the stunning 2026 car model used in our analysis. His work is top tier, so definitely check out his socials. The whole point of the new system is to replace the rule you must be within one second, to use Active Arrero. With something more natural, letting every driver use low drag mode on long straights. And from you, I would like to hear will this change be overtaking Revolution F1 needs or is it a step back dressed up as a progress? Will X mode and Z mode transform the racing or will it just be a new version of DRS? Drop your thoughts in the comments and as always, if you enjoyed the video then like and subscribe since it really helps in channel growth. Thanks for watching and see you in the next analysis.